Great Hymns for Growing Hearts was birthed out of my desire for my children to know and love truth, the truth of God's Word. Music has such a powerful influence. We see that all throughout God's Word, and it is a wonderful way in which we can worship the Lord. We often have this ear and lip connection with music. As we sing these great hymns of the faith, we hear the words, we hear the truth, and then our lips sing the words. But I try to emphasize the ear-heart-lip connection through this study in this book, where not only are we hearing the words and hearing the truth, but as we hear that truth, we then meditate on it in our hearts and learn more about our great God, about His character, and about doctrinal truths found in His Word. And then from a passionate love for our Savior, our lips can't help but overflow in praise. And that is what I hope to accomplish through this book. This book is a 12-week hymn study for people to do with children, to teach children the truths that are found um, in these hymns taken directly from the Word of God, and then to sing those truths back in praise to the Lord. I have presented the hymns in this book to go beyond words and music. I want readers to dig into the messages of the songs and to discover more about our great God. When we explore all the aspects of truth in the words of hymns, it will enable us to worship and praise God on a deeper level. Hymn singing will become more than our lips moving in a familiar motion to a recognized tune. It will be an expression of adoration as our heart meditates on the truths learned and worships the one who embodies those truths. The first question is, what is Great Hymns for Growing Hearts? This is a 12-week hymn study for parents, teachers, youth leaders, ministry workers to go through with children to use the great hymns of the faith to teach our children the character of God and doctrinal truths from God's Word. What Bible translation is used? All of the scripture in this book is taken from the King James Version. Is this a book or a resource? This is a resource. This is not a book that you're just gonna read through one time and put it on your shelf and it'll sit and collect dust. This is something that you're going to want on your coffee table, it's in your family devotional stack, in your morning basket. You're gonna to want to go through this again and again as you study these songs and hear the truth that is written in them. What part does Christ honoring music play in the home? I believe that Christ honoring music is integral in, into creating an atmosphere in the Christian home of, of worship, of honoring the Lord. Having that music playing keeps our hearts in tune with His and sets an atmosphere of worship within the home. What ages is this geared toward? So this is written really with mid-elementary up through high school in mind, but it is so adaptable. We're using it in our home and we have little ones, five and under. Um, so some things we lean in heavier on, some things we kind of brush over a little bit, um, but it is so adaptable to whatever age group of students that you have. I often hear from adults as well who have just done this study personally and have been so benefited from studying through God's Word along with these hymns. Is this curriculum for Christian schools? It is not curriculum. We do not have worksheets and things like that included, but again, it is so easily adaptable for whatever setting. We have people using these in Sunday schools and youth groups and children's choirs and Christian schools and boys and girls homes. There are so many ways that you can make this resource fit your audience. And as long as there's a teacher and there's children, this will be a blessing as you seek to teach truth to children. Is this just for families? I answered that a little bit in the question before. No, this is not just for families. Um, like I said, all you need is a teacher, whether that's a parent or someone else, and children, and this will be a benefit to you. Can an adult glean from this study as well? I mentioned while this is written more with children in mind, um, the story of the hymn is a little more simplified. Uh, some of the questions in the heart application section are geared more towards children. Adults can glean so much from this study as you meditate on the truths of scripture presented in these hymns. Is there a discount code for pastors, Christian schools, and ministry workers that would like to order this in bulk? Yes, there is. Just email me at nohighercallingpodcast at gmail.com and I'd be happy to email you the discount code. Do you offer international shipping? We do ship internationally. There will be a cost uh, change depending on where we are shipping to, but that is available. What hymns are included? So in volume one, we have 12 beautiful hymns. Some of the, I think the most favorite hymns. Um, as I polled people, these were some of the top favorite hymns that you will see in Great Hymns for Growing Hearts. 
The first one that we come to is Amazing Grace, Day by Day, Jesus Paid It All, God Leads Us Along, It Is Well, Near the Cross, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus, Here is Love, Come Thou Fount, All the Way My Savior Leads Me, I Must Tell Jesus, God Will Take Care of You. How is each hymn laid out? This is probably my favorite question. Um, this is a 12-week study, 12 hymns are included. So that means you will spend one week per hymn studying through this. Each hymn is divided into five days and there are several different um, glimpses that you'll get of that hymn as you study through different aspects of each one. The first one that you'll come to will just be the words of the music. And that's the first thing you're gonna do with your children. You're going to read the words, start memorizing the song. Um, there's also music included, a simplified version of these songs. So if you play the piano, you can play these with your children and learn to sing these. Then we move on and you will find the story behind the hymn. So this is the hymn history. This is why this hymn was written. The person that wrote this hymn, what circumstances surrounded their lives that led them to penning these words. And it is so transformative to hear these stories. Um, so many of them grief and heartbreak um, as defining characteristics of their stories, of their lives. But it was out of that that God enabled them to have the soul strength to write the words that we sing so often. And knowing the stories and then coupling that with singing these songs and praise to God gives such a deeper level of worship to these songs. Moving on from the story behind the hymn, we then come to a section that talks about the character of God. In each hymn section, it'll emphasize um, our God is hope, our God is peace, our God answers our prayers. There's also a scripture memory passage that you'll be working on all week long to memorize with your children. And then a section that just talks more about that character aspect of God, what we can learn through scripture, through the words of these hymns, as we dive into, and it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. We learn that our God is trustworthy, that we can lean not into our own understanding, but that we can trust in him. Moving from that, we come to the heart application section. The heart application section is divided into three different parts. The first is question and answer. These are pretty much straightforward questions with um, answers that you'll find right in the text as you study through this. The next section leads into conversation starters. So these are going to be getting people's minds engaged. You're trying to get your children to think on a deeper level. You want them to start um, internalizing the truths that they're learning, to think through those, to let it take root in their heart as you have these conversations. Then the last section is a glimpse into God's word. So taking all that we've learned from this hymn, from the context of the story, from what we know to be true about God, we're going to do a Bible study dive into God's Word together, opening the Bible, looking into God's Word, and studying out maybe a Bible character or a Bible passage that deals with that character aspect of God that we're studying to allow that to solidify the truth in your children's heart. The last section is a deeper dive. This was written by my husband, and it is a deeper theological look at the truths that we're learning in each hymn. So this is geared more towards middle school, high school students. Um, if you want to take a deeper look at more doctrinal truth, that is a section that you're going to enjoy studying through with your older students. Will this be a series? So I cannot give a definite. We will see what God has in store for the future. But I have big dreams and I am so excited to see where God leads as we follow him in this venture. What do I hope that Great Hymns for Growing Hearts will accomplish? I believe that studying truth, studying these great hymns of the faith can have a life-changing impact on the lives of children as they allow the truths of God's word to become bedrock in their hearts, to be a foundation, a well that they will draw from for the rest of their lives as trials come, as different things come in their life, as joyful times come in their life. They can have their heart overflow in praise to their Savior from these truths, from the knowledge of his character that has been foundationally laid in their hearts. And this is just one way that we can accomplish that in our homes, in our ministries, in our schools, as we invest truth into the lives of the next generation. I hope that has answered some of your questions about great hymns for growing hearts. 
You can find the book on my website. I have been so encouraged to hear how God is using this book in so many different aspects of ministry and homes, but I'm most encouraged about how God has used this book in my own home. It has been such a blessing. Just the other day, my little two-year-old was singing, Near the Cross, Near the Cross, Be My Glory Ever. Um, my five-year-old, we were walking into church and she's just bellowing out, it is well, it is well with my soul. That is why I wrote this. That is why I am so passionate about getting truth to the next generation because I want our children to grow up in love with their Savior, learning about who He is and who He wants to be in their lives. So I can't wait to hear how this book has been a blessing to you and to your family.